A title can make or break your chance to earn big money for your images or videos, but why are so many people doing it wrong? In this video, I'm sharing five rules for writing a great title, I'll write some examples to show you how I do it, and I'll review some recent uploads to Adobe Stock and call out examples with a score of do this or don't do this. Number one on the list of things to do in writing a title is write what you see. Consider the objects you see in the image or video both the primary object that may be the subject of the image and any other items that may add to the scene. Be sure to include a dominant color if there is one. Number two, write what it means. Now we're looking beyond the physical objects to consider concepts that the image could represent. If there are people of different ethnicities, you could include diversity in the title. Could there be some type of competition shown? If so, include a word like winning. People shaking hands as if in a job interview? you could say hiring the best job candidate. Number three, and this can be tough after you've already written words for what you see and what it means, aim for 70 characters. Adobe lets you go as high as 200 characters, but a shorter title is better for the algorithm. This means that you have to be highly selective about what words stay or go. And you can skip words like the, and, of, for, and anything that isn't likely to appear in a customer's search. Don't waste those precious characters. Number four, Make titles unique. If you have a series of similar images or videos you want to upload at once, don't just use the same title for all of them. Adobe lets you upload multiple at once with the same title and keywords, but remember that different words give you additional chances to attract customers. Different buyers will use different words in their searches, and you need to have multiple opportunities to get your work in front of them. Think of it this way. If you were going to buy five lottery tickets today, would you buy the same set of numbers five times, or would you increase your odds by buying different numbers? And finally, learn from successes, both your own and those of top contributors. Do searches on Adobe for images like yours, and filter by most downloaded. What titles do the images downloaded the most use? Don't just copy them, but be sure to include important words that are relevant for your own uploads as well. So let's use these rules to title a few example images. I'm going to pull up a few images that have been posted recently by other contributors and write titles as if I'm about to upload them myself. And we'll compare what I write for them with what those contributors came up with. So let's take a look at this woman with a surprised look on her face. It already tells us it's AI. We're going to write our own title for this one using the five rules I just described and then compare it to see what the actual contributor put in for the title and see how they did. So if you recall, the first rule I suggested was write what you see. So what I see in this image is white Caucasian woman mouth open. So that's rule number one, what you see. Rule number two is write what it means. To me, the concepts that this image describes are shock, surprise, amazement. So put those words together from what you see and what it means. White Caucasian woman mouth open, shock, surprise, amazement. So you can see this gets us to 77 characters, just a hair over what Adobe suggests at 70 characters. This seems to me to be a good title for this image. Now let's take a look at what the contributor actually used for this image. Humorous distorted portrait, shocked woman with happy expression, white background. So I'd say the contributor and I matched on about half of the words, but the half of the words that the contributor used that I chose not to include I don't think are useful here. I don't think those extra words are words a customer would use to type in for a search to bring up an image like this. Humorous, maybe. Distorted, I don't think it's distorted. Portrait, I don't think portrait is useful here. Shocked, woman, those are good words. With, I think you could leave off. It doesn't help in the search. Happy, this is not a happy woman, I'd say. Expression, maybe. Okay, you could possibly make the case for expression being in here or even expressive. And then white background. Yes, there's a white background. I included that in my title as well. So I'd say the, the contributor got it about half right. And let's take a look at another one. First, let's look at what we see. So it's a blue x-ray scan, woman's head, hand, red burst. So those are the items we see in the image. Now let's talk about what it means. Pain, diagnosis, healthcare, find, problem, source of headache. So if I were going to put this title together, blue x-ray scan, woman's head, 
hand, red burst, and then the then the words for what it means, pain, headache, find source, medical exam. So we're at 82 characters, a little bit over, but well under the 200, which is the Adobe limit. Not quite at the 70, which is the ideal, but not far over either. So let's take a look at how our title compares to what the contributor actually used. A blue x-ray of a woman's head. I'd say all those words, just about all of them are in the title that I came up with, but I came up with some additional ones that would help a customer find this image in a search. I think they really left off a lot of potential words that could be conceptual images, pain, headache, medical exam, that this image does a great job representing, but the, the title itself won't help people find it. Okay, here's a fun image of a couple of women in a crowd of people. What I see here are women. I don't know what ethnicity they are, but I would definitely add the ethnicity here. Wearing colorful, native, cultural garments, flowers in hair. So that's what I see. And what this image means, there's obviously some kind of party or festive occasion or event happening. So I would add those words. Celebration, party, festive, event. Let's bring up the character counter. I'm going to say two women in crowd. Let's leave a couple of asterisks here for, I'm not sure, are these South American, Mexican? I'd want to put the ethnicity in there. Two women in crowd wearing colorful clothes, flowers, and hair. And then celebration, party, festival. Here I'm at 93 characters, give or take a few, depending on what the ethnicity of these women are that I would want to add in here. So let's take a look at how my title compares to what the contributor has. Easter holidays in Brazil. Very plain, very small number of characters, very direct and to the point, but it doesn't mention there are women here. It doesn't mention there are having fun in a gathering, in a festival, event. This title could be really broadened to include all of those words, make it much more likely to come up in a search if somebody wants to have women celebrating in festival. Obviously, Brazil, I would put that in my title. I would add Easter since I didn't realize there's nothing in the image that said Easter to me, but if it is Easter, I would add that to my title as well. So, okay, so what we see in this image Business professionals, meeting, presentation, laptop computers, office room. In terms of what this means, this could be training, leadership, management, update, business professionals, meeting room, training, management, leadership, update. Then we saw some laptop computers. Now, we could make this less of just a keyword list by adding a few words like in. Business professionals in meeting room, training, management, leadership update, laptop computers. You don't necessarily need to structure this as a sentence without the words in, a, of, the. Uh, really lets you maximize the character count for the words that customers are going to use in their searches. So this is, to me, is much more ideal than adding a bunch of ins and thes and withs and taking out some words to get the character count down lower. 90, that's really pushing it in terms of where you want to be. 70 is the ideal, but still well under the 200. Let's take a look at how this compares to what the contributor used. Online presentation, webinar, electronic learning meeting. So a few of those words I think are good. Presentation, learning, meeting, but online, to me, when you're in an online session, you're probably by yourself. You're in a, your home, you're in an office on your own. That's what online learning is. It's not necessarily in a group session like this. A webinar, same thing. To me, you don't gather together in a group of people to take a webinar. I think that word is off the mark here. But I'd say half to two-thirds of these words look pretty good to me. So that's a glimpse into my thought process and just my system that I've developed over the past 16 years, writing what I see, then writing what it means, trying to keep the character down to a reasonable number, keeping those unnecessary words out, just focusing on what a customer is actually going to use to search to find an image like this. Now let's take a look at some things 
that are good to do or not to do when you're doing your own titling of your images or videos. Let's dive in and do some quick scoring on some of the latest uploads in Adobe Stock. Stormy weather in mountains or Gaiwant Peak Tatra Mountains. Things not to do. Don't repeat words. Don't waste your characters repeating words. That's just not good optimization of your characters. You're trying to get to the, about the 70 character limit or target. And also repeating words is going to get you in trouble with Adobe. They consider that spam. That's something you don't want to do. Repeat. Friendly team harvesting fresh vegetables from the rooftop greenhouse garden and planting harvest season. To me, this is something you do want to do. That is a great description of what is seen in the image. Very keyword rich, not repeating words. So do this. Farmer woman in the rice field, AI generated. Don't waste your character saying AI generated. That is appearing here when you check the box. Don't do this. Thyroid gland control, woman suffering from throat problem. This to me looks like it's a very accurate description. It's using words that are specific to a potential condition. The woman's holding her throat. It's a problem. Do this. A view of a forest with a mountain in the background. So this one is not bad. I think what they're missing is some obvious words like blue and green, nature. I think they didn't optimize as well as they could have. Colorful crystals close up with bright light. I think here they could have added a few of the colors represented, red, orange, blue. I would even add abstract backgrounds. So to me, this is just not descriptive enough to grab customers' attention to bring them into this image. This one could have used explosive glass shards. These appear to be glass. So this one is just simply not distinctive enough, not descriptive enough to attract customers. I would say, don't do this. Don't be vague. Realistic sculpture of ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle, famous historical figure, digital 3D render. So to me, this is pretty thorough. It's being very specific about Aristotle, but also saying, Ancient Greek Philosopher. This one to me is a great descriptive title, not repeating words, and I would say do this. Wooden Kitchen Podium with White Marble Top, Food Photography Backdrop, Empty Product Display Stand, 3D Rendering. To me, another good, very descriptive title using those available characters, probably going just a little bit over, but not much. I think it might get flagged as inaccurate for saying food. A reviewer might say there's no food in this shot, but you're saying food photography backdrop, which I could see a customer potentially adding that into a search to say they need a backdrop for some food, and this would come up and, and meet that need for the customer. So I would say do this. Be thorough and complete with your keywording. So here's an interesting uh, AI-generated shot. Castle on a mountain with sunset. It's a dramatic picture. I think it maybe has potential to meet the needs of some buyers for a specific need, but I would want to make this much more descriptive. There just isn't enough here to have this stand out or have, have it surface to the top of the search algorithm. I would want to add dark, stormy clouds, something very much more dramatic to help it give it a chance in searches. So don't do this. Don't be so short with your use of keywords in the title. Here's an image of a butterfly, a isolated pastel butterfly. So you can leave off the letter A, isolated pastel butterfly. Those are good words, but that's just three words. I would add red, blue, pink on wings. There are so many images of butterflies on Adobe site. You need something else here to help a buyer find this if they're specifically wanting something that's blue and pink. Add those colors to your title to make sure it's giving it a chance to stand out. I'd say don't do this. Don't be leaving out words that are important, like colors. Here we have bride and groom exchanging vows at the altar. Good descriptive words, but I would say incomplete. This is a wedding, a marriage, church, ceremony. Those are four obvious words right there that really belong in the title, so make sure you're not leaving out the obvious. Don't do this. Luxury golden spoon on royal piece of cloth. I'd say this leaves out some things such as how many spoons there are. To me, this looks like there are four. It's hard to tell. This could be just an AI error here. Is this kind of one spoon that branches off into two spoons, top spoons? But regardless, 
say how many of an object are in the image. This The title implies there's one, but there's actually three or four here. I would say black, on black cloth. I would say the color of the spoons. Are, I can't tell if these are silver or gold, but put the color into the title to make it that much easier for a customer to find it. If they want gold spoons on black cloth, putting those words in the title will help the customer get directly to this image. I would say don't do this. Latte art and cappuccino isolated. This is not an isolated image. This title is basically lying. Don't do that. Rings made of berries on the female hand. So rings and berries is great, but I would also include the types of berries they are. Blueberries, raspberries. Have the word plant in the background. So again, not descriptive enough. Don't do this. Beautiful woman with butterfly wings, glitter and iridescence, skin texture, pastel lilac colors, detailed face, wearing a crown of filigree with intricate designs, dreamy look. To me, this is a mix of don't go overboard. Don't use words that are a little vague and kind of subjective. Beautiful. Beautiful is a word of all these. I think I would cut that one. There'd be a few others. Texture, designs, but by and large, a lot of good, very hooky words included in the title here. It's very thorough. I would say overall, do this. Just don't go quite so overboard. And we'll wrap it up there. Did I miss any steps you use when writing titles for your images or videos? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what else you'd like to see me cover in future videos. And until next time, I'll see you soon.